Hey guys, so uh, today we're going to have my final update about the Dev Mountain Quality Assurance Coding Bootcamp. Some things came up in my personal life, some things came up on Dev Mountain sides of things, and sides of things, that's an interesting way of saying that. Um, and we're going to talk about it. We're going to talk about why I'm no longer enrolled in the program and what happened. take a moment to thank our long-term sponsor dev mountain coding bootcamp dev mountain has a variety of programs from full stack javascript to ios development ui ux quality assurance they're one of the very few programs that provide housing alongside their tuition and one of the most affordable programs i had the pleasure of seeing some of their campuses and they were gorgeous i highly encourage you to check them out at devmountain.com so um as I mentioned, uh, I'm no longer enrolled in uh, sort of Dev Mountain's Quality Assurance Coding Bootcamp, and two things kind of happened. Um, one, it's a very bad timing aspect. So I was in, I was in the program for about three weeks before I realized that I just didn't have the time to do it. Um, I didn't have the time to do it because uh, originally when I planned taking this bootcamp four months ahead of time, I was like, oh, cool, I'll be at the same job that I'm at and it'll all work out. Um, unfortunately, that's not the case. Uh, so the week that I started the bootcamp was also the same week that I started uh, my new job, which isn't all that new because I've been there about two months now, but uh, it's same, same two months, six weeks, I don't know. But uh, it was same, same time. And I was like, all right, I'm just gonna try and power through, um, you know, um, opportunities don't always come at the best time and you gotta do what's best uh, and you know, try to get the most out of it while you can plan for your future. And um, about three weeks in, I realized, all right, I I can't do this. I can't do YouTube. I can't do the boot camp. Can't work on my course. I'm, I'm just sort of stretched too thin. And so I was like, all right, let me um, let me reach out to the instructors and and um, the not the community manager, but the people who say, hey, um, that handle student like not the student mentors, but the student the people who manage the students and say, you know what, I'm gonna furlough if that's okay. Um, and it was a smooth process, honestly. It was probably a really good uh, thing and I, I have nothing but nice things to say. I, I reach out to the instructor, I sort of explain the situation, hey, I start a new job, I just need to make sure that I'm caught up on all the technologies that I'm working in, you know. Um, first and foremost, the things that keeps the lights on and pays the bills and whatnot, I need to make sure that, um, you know, I'm, I'm pulling my weight. I'm doing it exactly as much as I, I should be doing. By the way, I look so ungodly tired. What is going on here? I'm not that tired. Uh, so <laughs> this is me trying to slowly quit caffeine again. Uh, so I might be looking a little, I'm, lo I'm looking torn up. But anyhow, yeah, so um, the instructor's like, hey, talk to this person. I completely understand, no big deal. So um, that happened and they're like, yeah, cool. Um, we understand. When can you, you know, when, when our next cohort starts in April, would that work for you? You can come back. I was like, perfect. By then I'll have about three, four months under my belt. I'll be, um, I'll be caught up in all the technologies and I'll be proficient in everything that I need to be. And we can, we can continue on. Um, so that was the plan. That was what I was going to do and fully executed and very excited by it. And uh, can I just say for the actual, um, sort of uh, the the second unit, I didn't really dive too deep into it, but the second unit, so the first unit was all about like um, high level topics, uh, JIRA, user stories, acceptance criteria, test suites, just really getting you familiar with some tools and technologies more than anything else and some principles behind it. Um, some more, I, I'd say it's on the book learning side of things, but the second unit was really dope. It was allowing you to actually write automated tests which was fantastic. And so I only got to dive a little bit deep into it in that in that um, third week, but I was, I was really excited for that. So I was looking forward to um, starting back up again in April, which is about a month away at this point. Um, but about a week ago, or two weeks ago, I got a call from uh, that student community mentor person who I can't remember their title. And um, she called me and said, you know that um, unfortunately that Dev Mountain is always reevaluating their business model and and um, that they are, you know, they're, they're 
some things work, some things don't. They want to make sure the students get the best experience. And moving forward, they're no longer going to be doing their online programs. Um, and so uh, that was kind of unfortunate. I don't I don't blame them. They got to do what they got to do. Right. Uh, they got they have to, um, you know, and it's a smart decision. In all honesty, if they found that the students were getting less successful online, that's the, the number one thing that gets more students into those seats is previous students being successful because that, that's good for their stats. That's good for word of mouth. And that allows, uh, you know, new talent to come in because if people are graduating that boot camp and they're not doing too well, because uh, maybe the online program and, uh, isn't doing isn't to the standards of the in-house program, then that's going to be causing issues for them. So I completely understand from that standpoint. Um, but so that left me in a very strange position because uh, um, I'm a full time developer. I, I don't have uh, the time to do something full time. And so the online program is perfect. I could work from home. Um, and uh, so she offered to she said, hey, if you can come in person, we'd love to have you do the in person boot camp. Um, I, I politely declined. Uh, I, I appreciated the offer, but. Definitely not something that's going to work with my my schedule. Um, you know, I'm all the way in Florida uh, and then driving to Utah and then actually just the six or eight weeks of full time QA. Um, that'd be like essentially even if my I, I'm, you know, I'm fairly convinced. But if I told my work, I come back in um, six weeks that they'd be OK with it. They maybe understand. Um, but even then, it's a, there's a financial aspect to it where not only am I leaving that the bills and whatnot, where now I don't have money coming in. No, no real money. I got YouTube and, and courses and stuff, but um, about 80% of my money is no longer coming in for six weeks. And so this boot camp that was supposed to be based off some video sponsorships is now going to cost me um, about six grand out of savings and then about 15000 to $20,000 in income. And so now this this boot camp has uh, cost me somewhere between the range of twenty thousand and twenty five thousand. Uh, if you just actually do like the opportunity cost lost and income cost loss, um, even though I think it's an excellent opportunity, so it's not something I could do, unfortunately. Um, but that's sort of what happened, and I was kind of surprised to hear that Dev Mountain is no longer doing their online programs. Um, I I wish them the best. I, I'm still. Uh, you know, work with them quite often. They've been a longtime sponsor of the channel. And I was really excited to dive deeper into the QA aspect of software development. Um, unfortunately, that's not going to happen. <laughs> not, not with Dev Mountain. Um, I've actually been writing unit tests and taking uh, an old project in sort of a professional sense of testing. And unit tests is a, isn't really something uh, QA would do, but it's, it's testing. For the last couple of days and one of the interesting things about that just on sort of a side tangent is um you know when you're working in the front end you have to mock a lot of things and so you have to come up with creative ways to mock things like window and mock things like navigator and be able to dynamically update that and when you reference those things and um you know it's it becomes a fun little game uh, a <laughs> fun little game of did i mock it right did i not mock it right um did i plan well ahead um, and using these test tools with the frameworks always become the the other thing. It's like, okay, um, I know how the I know how the testing language works, but how does it work with the framework and this and that? So uh, I've been doing a little bit of that uh, lately. But yeah, guys. So um, there's your update. I'm sorry, I it took me a little while to make this. I had some videos planned, uh, pre-planned, and all that sort of stuff. So I've been really enjoying doing the, like the five minute front end sort of component based project stuff. So I hope you. Uh, have been enjoying that and um one of you guys mentioned an upcoming video you want navigation so i'm gonna do that i think in the next in the next um next uh video for that but um as always guys thank you so much for watching i appreciate it uh don't forget to comment like subscribe and share i'm sorry i won't be able to to um go deeper into the dev mountain program um i wish them the best of luck and if you're considering uh, Dev Mountains Coding Bootcamp. Well, they still have it online, and I believe they're after hours programs as well. You can check them out at devmountain.com. See you guys next time. Bye. 
Hey guys, thanks for watching the video. Don't forget to check out my 100 algorithm challenge course. Get you prepped for those technical interviews to make sure you get nice offers. I, I actually just added some new content to it so you can get prepared for those technical phone screens as well. There's a link in the description to get it for just $9.99.